Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about age segregation in our society. The segregation of people into different groups that are more or less the same age or close to each other in age is really pervasive in our society. And I don't think I really questioned it when I was growing up because it was the norm virtually everywhere. Like, from when I was really young, I was put into preschool, and I was in a preschool class, and then I went into kindergarten, and then I went through K-12 through education, essentially being tracked with people of very close age ranges, like maybe at most a year apart from me. And then uh, there was a little bit of mixing up in high school, not much. And then after that, I went to college, and in college, again, there was a little bit of mixing, but for the most part, like when you take classes, you're probably going to be in a lot of classes your freshman year with other freshmen, and even the dorms can be somewhat age-segregated. At some colleges, they are completely age-segregated, at least for freshmen. Like at University of Delaware, all the dorms for freshmen are all freshman dorms. I went to Oberlin College, and it wasn't like that. And I think that one of the things that got me thinking about age segregation was seeing those two different college and university environments, and seeing that the one environment segregated ages a little bit more than the other one did. And I think that that got me thinking a little bit more critically about age segregation. And then I started looking at the rest of society, and I started to see it, like, pretty much everywhere. Like, a lot of the time when people get out of college, they move to an area that has a lot of, like, young professionals. I hear that word thrown around a lot. Like, uh, areas in cities, they tend to be in these urban environments, and they tend to have, like, a certain type of atmosphere. And then, when people get older and they start settling down, and settling down is one of those terms, I don't like that term, uh, and they go to raise a family, then they move into a different sort of environment, like typically a more suburban environment where they these homes, like houses that are built around the nuclear family unit, unit. And then when people retire, I'm seeing, like, not only are there retirement homes, but I'm seeing these other things cropping up nowadays, like older adult communities, like for people in their 50s, before they go into a retirement community. So it seems like this age segregation is very pervasive. It happens at all levels of our society, from when you're really young to when you're really old, and it seems like it's becoming a little bit more pervasive, too. And I really don't like it. Like, when I think about it, when I think about how I would ideally like society to be structured, I think that it would involve a lot more mixing of the ages than we currently have. Like, when I think about when I was growing up, I used to play with kids in the neighborhood, and there weren't really a lot of kids in my grade in the immediate surrounding. So I would play with a lot of kids who were one or two years older or younger than me, or sometimes three, four, five years older or younger than me. I'd meet people's brothers and sisters, and I'd interact in this environment where there were a lot of different ages. Like when I was a kid, I interacted with college students a lot, because my mom was a college professor, and there would be students around in her workplace. There would be students sometimes even in our house. And, like, I would have babysitters who were, like, a good bit older than me. So, in, outside of the school atmosphere, I was interacting with people of diverse ages. And I actually think I learned a lot from these people. Like, I learned a lot of things by example, and I remember older kids kind of taking me and giving me guidance and telling me things. And I remember this happening in college, too. Like, I got to college, and a lot of the students who had been there longer, they would be like, oh, hey, like, I really recommend this professor. Like, if you want to take a class in this apartment, this professor is great. This particular professor, well, they're good, but they have this quirk, and you should know that before getting involved with them. People would say things like that. And I found that kind of advice really helpful. And that's just an example of the type of knowledge that gets passed down when you interact with people who are a little bit older than you. I also have noticed ways in which I've been able to help people who are a lot older than me, and one of them is with technology. Like, it seems like when I was growing up, technology just came much more naturally to me than it did to older adults. And people would frequently come to me and they'd be like, hey, can you fix this? Can you show me how to do this? And now that I'm a little bit older, I'm doing the same thing with younger people. Like one of my friends, for example, I saw her on Tumblr, and I took her aside and I was like, what is Tumblr? And she explained Tumblr to me. 
I didn't get Tumblr until she explained it to me, and I'm very grateful that she did, because Tumblr is this whole world that it's opened up, and I think I've learned a lot culturally from getting into it, but it took a while to get into. It took someone explaining it to me, like showing me how to understand it, how to connect with it, how to fit into the community and the culture there. So that's just an example of the types of things that we gain as a society when we mix ages, when we have friendships that go across ages. So I just want to throw out this idea. I want you to start thinking about this. Uh, I bet it's likely that you'll go through a similar process to what I did. Like when I started thinking about age segregation, I started feeling pretty disturbed because I saw it pretty much everywhere in our society, and I saw how rigid and how pervasive it was. And I don't think that's very good. I think that it's probably holding our society back a lot. Like, when I look at how a lot of older adults struggle so much with technology, and then I look at how there are a lot of workplaces that I've been in where there are very few young people in them. It's just like a much older workforce in their 40s and 50s for the most part, and there are very few people in their 20s and 30s. It seems pretty obvious to me that there are going to be some problems with things like technology and things like culturally relating to the younger people if there are no younger people in that group. So I think that there are a lot of costs and harm associated with this age, age segregation when it is as extreme and pervasive as it is in our society. So I hope you can start thinking about it and start looking at it and start brainstorming ways that we can make our society more integrated by age. Uh, I would love to talk about this more, uh, and also I'd love to hear from you. If you have anything to add, please comment. And as always, I love when people share my videos, and I love when people subscribe to my channel. Thank you!